Hey guys, just want to talk to you about spinning tackle for a minute here. I get asked a lot if, if I could only use one spinning rod, what would it be? And it would have to be the Phoenix M1, the 7.2 medium. The reason I say this rod is because it's so good for so many different things. I mean, yeah, I've got a drop shot on this one, but I've got like four more in there that's got wacky worm, Ned Riggs, little swim bait. I mean, this rod right here, there's so many things you can do with it. It's so versatile. Like I said, a wacky worm, a drop shot, a lighter shaky head, a Ned Rig, a smaller finesse top swim bait. I mean, a spy bait. And the list I go on and on. I mean, it's just, it's an excellent all around spinning rod. It's not too stiff, it's not too limber. When I was at Sturgeon Bay in St. Clair last year and did well up there, I was using a half ounce drop shot weight handles it perfect i mean i didn't i didn't have to go up to a beefier spinning rod because i was using a half ounce drop shot weight this is a 7.2 medium i know i've already mentioned that but 7.2 is the perfect all-around length it's not too long to be able to really skip a wacky worm up under boat docks and it's not too short to handle big fish i don't know how many five to seven eight nine pounders i've caught on this rod right here using it throwing a wacky worm a drop shot and things of that nature what else is unique about this Phoenix M1 is there is no cork or anything here on the butt. It is just straight blank. It's very comfortable in your hand because when I make a cast with a spinning rod, I always grab this back here to use and make a cast nearly every time I just grab the butt. But without having any cork back here or in anything else like this up here around the handle back here, it allows the rod to be a lot more sensitive. The sensitivity is a lot higher and it was an excellent idea on Phoenix End and their part to make a spinning rod like this. There's none, none out there like that. Makes the rod lighter, it's just a lot more sensitive. Like if the wind's blowing really hard and you're just shaking a drop shot out there real light on bottom, but you got a lot of wind and a little bit of a bow on your line, I'm able to detect those bites a lot better without having any cork down here at the bottom like that. So that's another huge positive about this rod. It's just all around an excellent rod for just about anything you would ever need spinning tackle for. So I highly recommend if there was only one rod you could ever buy, nearly everything you could ever use on spinning rod, it would be the Phoenix M1 7.2 Medium.